Hi, I'm Chris Coe, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of ER2. We help big companies install new technology, while at the same time taking out the old stuff and refurbishing it and remarketing it to schools and small businesses. At the same time, we're able to donate thousands of laptops to underprivileged families, students, and veterans. We started our lean journey because a friend of mine told me about his new standing desk. And I said, wow, that seems like it's very tiresome. And then he told me about this book written by Paul Akers, Two Second Lean. And so I picked it up and I fell in love with it right away and I knew we had to implement lean in some way, shape or form. Our biggest struggle uh, with implementing lean is actually that we aren't a manufacturing company. We don't get to control what comes in our doors and what we actually manufacture. Because we're a recycling company, companies just give us whatever they have. So once it gets in our door, we're able to control those wastes, but excess inventory and things like that are gonna be very difficult to manage. The most impactful thing that Lean has had on our company is truly the transformation in the people. When we have empowered them to believe that they can control and change anything and make their job better, it has been incredible to see them develop and grow to be all that they've been created to be. It's really been a blessing to see people believe that they can actually make their job better and when they do it, they are so encouraged by that. To anyone that hasn't started their Lean journey yet, but would really like to, I definitely would suggest that it all start at the top with the leadership. Because if the leaders believe in lean and show their team that they believe in lean, everybody else will buy in. And once they do, their employee genius will, will just rise to the top immediately. I encourage every one of them to believe in their people by starting by transforming themselves into becoming better.